guys, what's going on? Matt here with another episode of Rusty Rogers Road to the Show here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. It has been a while since we've seen Rusty, and he is a little rusty. That's why he's doing some fielding training here as we return home from a road trip. And we're back at Yankee Stadium, Joe Girardi showing us uh, some new tips and tricks, and we're going to try them out here as we begin the episode. A lot of games this episode as well because I know he's been gone for a while and uh, so has Mac Money. I got an episode out for you guys two days ago, I think. Um, but tomorrow we're going to have opening day for Padres franchise and also the season in review for Mac Money because that was such a great season. Anyways, here's Rusty in the field. Last chance here and check out that flip. The glove hand flip to the second baseman who then bare hands it to first for the double play. Rusty overall is not too happy with that training, but that last play is pretty nice. So here we go, first game of the episode in the Bronx, Yankee Stadium, Yankees and Mariners. Yankees doing very good, a very good start for them, 20 and 8, and a pretty good start for Rusty. He's hitting 295 with just one homer. We'll see if he can hit any today. I doubt it because that's not what he does, but he is trying to get a double here. So he'll hit this one into right center, and it's going to be caught out there in right, and. That is it. He's retired on the catch by the right fielder. So, uh, just a little bit of an update on the league since it has been a year. Christian Yelich is actually on the Mariners. I think they traded Robbie Cano because he wasn't playing today. Um, but you never know. Maybe it's just an off day. But I think that uh, he traded or they traded Robinson Cano for Christian Yelich. Just a little bit of an update there. You see the Yankees and the Mariners up top there for the pitching ERA, and you see why as Rusty gets struck out there, and at the end of the day, it wasn't a very good game for Rusty. He goes 0 for 4, um, and it was barely a good game for the Yankees as they win this one 1-0 on 5 hits. So we'll see him forward here through the next couple of weeks, and we'll go on to the road trip. First to Kansas City, and now to Philadelphia. So here we go in Citizens Bank Park. The Phillies not doing too well, not a good start for them. 11-26, and 26. meanwhile the Yankees continue their hot start at 24 and 15 so here comes rusty over 300 now is his average with a homer eight rbis and he leads the yankees with 11 stolen bases first inning base is empty one out and this is something we don't see too often from the rookie rusty rogers he takes a walk and whenever i get a walk i just always feel so good inside i just feel like i showed so much patience and i'm trying to get better at that so here is the a uh, decent throw over to first. We get him out in time just barely, and we'll get eight points for the fielding opportunity. And we'll f uh, fast forward here to the fifth inning for two Phillies. Base is empty with one out, and the 1-1 pitch is hit into center. And that's a blooper. That's going to fall. So Rusty finds himself getting the first hit of the episode, I believe. And so we'll get 15 points for the base hit and solid contact. And he is on first. Eighth inning action now. Yankees up 5-4. Rusty's going to hit this one over to second. And that ball is going to hop over the first baseman's glove. Rusty's going to have to hurry if he wants to go to second safely. And he does just that. He's in there. Won't even call it a base hit as it was an error. As he'll get on second. And after all that, the Yankees lose the game 6-5. So I think that was a walk-off win from Philadelphia. So Rusty can't help his team. We'll simp forward here about a week. And we will go north of the border to Toronto, where the Blue Jays and the Yankees are going at it here at Rogers Center. Blue Jays 15 and 31. Meanwhile, the Yankees solid at 29 and 19, 10 games above 500. As Rusty's in the field trying to turn this double play, and he'll do that as they get it. And that is a solid two outs there, so nice job by Rusty. Just getting comfortable in the field. He'll get eight points for the fielding opportunity. And now he is up to the plate, 0 for 1 so far today, as the Yankees have a 1-0 lead. Top of the third, base is empty, two outs, two on pitch to Rusty. And he'll hit this one into right. That's not Jose Bautista. That'll make the catch, so that's okay. Um, actually, that is Jose Bautista. I thought he retired, but never mind. We're still in year two, and we'll move forward to the sixth inning now. Runners on first and second. The Yankees losing by one, and that's going to be a base hit for Rusty Rogers, as he will try to score a run here, and he will... He'll go back to first just in case, but he does get the RBI single and 20 points for the at-bat. So a nice job there. We tie up the game at two, and now the Yankees take the lead, three to two. Bases are loaded, though, here in the eighth. We need to turn this double play with one out. Why flip over to second? Almost identical to that play you saw at the beginning of the video in the training, and that will do it. 
The bases are empty now as the inning is over and the Yankees will hang on and win. So a huge play there, stopping the Blue Jays from scoring runs. And after it's all said and done, Rusty goes one for four. So a decent outing, but nothing too special. So we'll go past that series, which we took one of three, and we'll head over to Houston, Texas and face off against the Astros here at Minute Maid Park and see what we can do. We have opposite records. We're 30 and 21. They are 21 and 30. As Rusty's coming in, still with 11 stolen bases, he still leads the Yankees as he is just looking to raise that average with a runner on first, and he's going to get a base hit into left field. So a nice job there. Uh, not too many multi-hit games. I don't think any multi-hit games actually in this episode, so he's trying to get that going here. And then I start with that with a base hit. That's will get his points. Third inning now, and he's taking a walk. That's a nice job. Again, just feel good inside whenever I take a walk. That's good. Uh, so he'll take one there, and he'll get 14 points points for the at bat Yankees up three nothing runners on first and second and that will fall his first base hit or his first multi-hit game of the episode as when it's all said and done the runner will come home and score and that is an RBI single for Rusty Rogers so 20 points for the at bat Yankees take this one a solid effort by the team six to one your final score Rusty gets his first multi-hit game of the episode went two for four with an RBI, so we'll send past that, and you know whenever we play in Oakland, I have to go there, I have to play, even though it's like the worst stadium in the world, we have to play just because I'm an A's fan, and here we go, facing off against the A's, still 10 games above 500, we're up 3-0 now in the second, runner on second, as we're trying to get the second out of the inning, and we'll do just that, as Rusty throws that one over to first, and that is that, 8 points for the fielding opportunity. And now we will sim forward to the next at bat. 0 for 1 so far today in the third. Yankees still up 3-0, leading off the inning with the bases empty and no outs. 2-2 pitch coming. Parker delivers, and Rusty's hitting that one into right. And that's going to be caught easily over there by Josh Reddick. So nothing going there. He will get 17 points, though, for the solid contact and 6 pitch at bat. And he's going to take another walk here. That is good. Third walk of the episode, I believe. And that was with the bases loaded. So we are going to score a run there. So nice job there. It's 16-0 here in the ninth inning. An absolute blowout. And Rusty may have something here. He hits that into left center. But Coco Crisp is over there. And he makes the catch. 14 points. But no base hit. I'm actually wearing a Coco Crisp shirt right now. That's kind of funny. Anyways, 0 for 5 goes Rusty. But uh, honestly, the Yankees didn't need him. They win this one 16-0. Tanaka with the win. Parker with the loss. And even though Rusty's not doing good, his team is doing well around him. So we'll send forward about a week over to Miami. We're going all kinds of places today, but now we are in South Beach as the Marlins are three games under 500. The Yankees, they are well over 500. So here comes Rusty up to the plate, 0 for 2 so far. Game scoreless in the fifth with a runner on second, and hopefully we can score him here. That is a base hit into center. The runner comes home, and he is safe well ahead of the throw. So a RBI single there for Rusty Rogers, and that is good to see. 28 points for the at-bat. We're up 1-0. Runners on first and second here as we were trying to get on base, but we will not be able to do that, and that is going to do it for the inning. So after it's all said and done, though, the Yankees will win this one 1-0 as we get a nice view of the grass as Rusty goes 1-4 for four with an RBI in that one. And that was an important RBI because it helped his team win. Anyways, last game of the episode. We are back at home at Yankee Stadium against the Baltimore Orioles, who are two games under 500, And we are 20 games above 500. We're up 1-0, though, in the top of the second. Base is empty, and they're going to keep him like that as Rusty has a nice catch over to his right. Seven points for the fielding opportunity. And I'll come up to bat. 0 for 1 so far, hitting 275 with four homers now. All of a sudden, he got three more homers. The game is tied at one, bottom of the third, two outs, base is empty, 1-0 pitch to Rusty, is hit into right, and Steve Pierce is over there, and he will track that one down, and Rusty will only get 11 points for the at-bat. Still tied, this time at three in the fifth, and Rusty's going to add on here, a base hit into center, and that is what we like to see, as he's on first, and he'll get 15 points for the base hit. Moving on now. Yankees up 4-3 in the top of the seventh. Runner on third, and he is not going to be able to score as the inning ending throw to first is a weird one. It bounced, but the first baseman caught it, and Rusty gets out of that one. As will go one for four in this one with no RBIs, but he does get a run. 
and the Yankees win this one 4-3. So they are doing very well. You see first in the standings in the AL East above the Red Sox by 3.5 games, a 48-27 and record. And it's looking good here on the East Coast side of things in New York as Rusty Rogers is just settling in here as the dog days of baseball are just about underway. And that is that. Again, Mac Money Season Review episode coming out tomorrow with an opening day episode of your Padres franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button. I'll see you next video. And as always, peace.